Hiya, welcome back. We're at Beadnell again. It's a bit of a breezy day, which is why I've started late. It's 10 o'clock in the morning because the wind's forecast to die off from now until about midday when it should be really calm and quite nice, fingers crossed. So we're going to go out about a mile. Uh, we're going to fish the last of the ebb tide up towards the North Sunderland Boy. We're going to explore all that lovely reef and rough ground around there. Then when the tide turns around, we're going to take the flood south towards the Newton Boy in the barnyard area, see if we can pick up some pollock, some cod and maybe a wrasse. I'll see you over there. Right, here we go, first drift. It's, uh, it's a little bit choppy out here, but that's gonna die off with this wind with a little bit of luck. Uh, I'm gonna stick a little bit of stink on. I don't know if it makes that much difference, but you lot seem to be quite obsessed with them. So, I've gone out and I've bought two new ones when I was in Go Outdoors the other day. I've got Bloodworm Bait Spray, and I've also got Signature Squid. I think we'll go with a Signature Squid to start off. Oh, gosh, it stinks that. Right, we'll get down there. I've just got the tribute minnow on for now. We'll see how this tide's running, because it is quite a big tide today, and we might end up sticking the metal on. But for now, we'll just get down there and see if we can get a hold of a pollock. Oh, I'm in. Yes, first fish of the day. <laughs> I wonder what we've got. Uh, we're in 17 metres of water. We're not over that structure yet, so that's a good start, isn't it? Let's get this up and have a look at it. He clearly liked the signature squid, didn't he? A little coddling. It's always good to get the blank off, isn't it? On the first drop. Let's uh, get the hook out and we'll get him away. Just a little chap, but uh, nice to see him. Well, we better have another squirt, hadn't we? Just to be sure. There we go. Right. Oh, it really does stink, that stuff. <laughs> right, let's get his big brother. I'm not sure I'm drifting in the direction I thought I was going to drift in. I wonder if I've missed the tide. Maybe I've got that wrong today. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be bothering the fish though, does it? This reel could do with the service. It's sounding a little bit gritty. There we go. Another coddling. Get in. Loads of fish showing on the sounder there in the middle of the water. Right, let's. Uh, he's done a double of this lad, so this will be tricky. Oh, I hope you've done that, man. Right, let me just start by finding that end of the hook and get this bit done first. Right, okay. Thing is, I can't get that bit out until I've got that bit out. There we go, that's part one done. Here's part two. There's nothing wrong with him. <laughs> we'll pop him back. See you, pal. Well, it would be rude not to stick a bit more squid on, wouldn't it? Let's get down there. Uh, just a numbers game, really. If we keep catching fish, we're about to catch a big one sooner rather than later. I'm in. <laughs> oh, this feels a little bit better. Might just be that tide. We'll get it up and have a look. It's having a good pull. <laughs> what a great start, eh? A few people who managed to get out earlier in the week said that it was fishing really well up here. It doesn't look like they were lying, does it? There we go. Oh, that's a bit better. Oh, he's nice. Let's get him in and give you a look. There you go. Easy, tiger. Do you want to lose me rod, do I? Right. Let's get this hook out. We'll give you a little look at this bloke. There he is. Look at that. See you, pal. And he's off. Right, well I haven't moved at all for ages, so 
even though we're catching fish, we're not catching pollock, I'd quite like to set myself up for when the tide turns around. So I'm going to steam along to a roundabout, the North Sunderland boy maybe, and fish a bit of that rough ground over there uh, in time for the tide turning round. Right, see you over there. Right, so I'm about halfway between the North Sunderland boy and uh, Beadnell Point. We're just going to have a little drop down here, see which way the tide takes we, and then decide whether or not we're going to go any further north. I've just got smacked there on the way down. Oh, I got it. Don't know what it is, but it wasn't very deep. Let's get it up and have a look. I think it's going to be a blooming mackerel. I'm not sure. The, the mackerel are so big this year, they're getting the weedless in their gobs and triggering the hook, which they don't normally do. The size of that, man. Oh, there's a massive shoal of them underneath us. Right, we'll get this uh, unhooked and we'll get the fella away there. Right. Come on, see if we can get through them and see if there's a pollock underneath them. There's quite often pollock underneath the mackerel, so I'm not going to feather this down. I'm just going to let it race to the bottom. Straight in. <laughs> oh, this feels a bit better. Let's see what this is. <laughs> pulling it against the tide main so don't uh, I'm not going to read too much into the bend in the rod feels half decent though let's get it up hey that's alright isn't it I'm happy with that See you, pal. We're still not hitting those big ones, though, are we? Right, so I'm going to go out a little bit further because we're nearly at Beadnell Point again now with that drift. And then we're going to head south with this tide and we're going to head around to the, the Newton Boy area, uh, the barnyard, and see if we can pick up some pollock and maybe a wrasse over there. Oh, that felt all right. Oh, it's taking a bit of line. <laughs> Let's have a look and see what this is. I mean, my drag's not the tightest, but what have we got? What have we got? Is it a pollock? Oh, but it's a very nice codlin. That'll do. Just get him by the uh, bottom lip to be sure there. Oh, he's well hooked. It's all right. That's all right, isn't it? That's not too bad. I need to tighten my drag up a little bit, I think. But uh, he's an all right looking fish, that, isn't it? Woohoo! There you go. A little bit bigger. There you are, buddy. And he's away. Oh, I'm in. I don't think it's a mackerel. <laughs> I'm going to say it's not. I don't quite know what it is yet, though. It's a codlin. There are so many of these out there today, aren't there? This video is going to be a nightmare to edit. I'm going to have to leave at least half of them out. There we go. He's angry, that lad, isn't he? Let's get down there, get another one. Or oh, something bigger, or a pollock, even. That would be nice. Oh, hello. What's this? Is it just a codlin wrapped up backwards, or is it something a little bit more exciting? I don't know. Well, there's quite a few fish over this bit of ground anyway, isn't there? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful kelpie cod, that. Look at the colours on this lad. Oh, what a beauty, man. Let's get this hook out and we'll show you to the people at home. Where 
Where is it? Yeah, open your gob. We'll get you, we'll get it out for you, mate. Very sharp teeth, this lad. But I'm gonna put my finger in there just to get him away. Oop. Look at the colour of him. Isn't he lovely? What a lovely orangey brown he is. Almost red. Right, he's away. Get on there, get another one, eh? Wouldn't mind catching a few more Kelpies. I do love a Kelpie cod. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> oh, this feels canny, doesn't it? I know the sun's in the lens a little bit there, but uh, there's not a lot I can do about that. Let's get it up. Have a little look at it. It pulled really hard to start off with, but now it's kind of eased off. It's a codlin. Of course it is. <laughs> Not a bad one though. All oh, right, me eye. That's what he thinks of me. There he is. We'll get him back. See you, pal. Right, so this is kind of like a last throw of the dice. I've come out into much deeper water. Hopefully the drift is going to be kind to us now. And I will be able to get across that ground. But, uh, yeah, I'm kind of running out of ideas. And I'm getting a bit tired and a bit grumpy. So we'll give this a shot. And if it doesn't work, stuff it. I'm going home. <laughs> Oh, I'm in. Oh, dropped it. Never mind. We'll get down. We'll have another go. Oh, I'm in again. Oh, this feels okay. But mind, I've said that a few times. We're in very deep water here. Let's get it up and have a look at it. Oh, it's putting a bit of a fight up, isn't it? Let's get it up. Keep the pressure on this. Quite excited to see what it is. It's a codlin, of course it is. It's just a decent one coming in sideways. <laughs> I'll never learn. Never learn trying to predict what the fish are on the way up. Just highly spirited, this chap. Chunky. That's what. Whoops. He was keen to get off, wasn't he? In again. <laughs> I love it. We've hit the right little patch here, haven't we? This is like how we started the day, isn't it? They all feel big coming up from that depth. Pal, let's get you in. They're getting a bit bigger, aren't they? Average size wise, anyway. There we go. If you're cooling your jets, pal, we'll get you out. We'll get you on your way. Where's that gone in? What's so done? Stun the doubler in one side, out the other. Ooh, right, we'll get him back because he's keen to be away. See you, pal. Be a little bit more delicate with him in the future, but he was just kind of in a rush, that kid. Kind of made the decision for us, didn't he? Right, so I've stuck on a big old 40 gram fish black minnow. We'll get a bit of the smelly stuff on it and we'll get it down there. There we go. I've had a few nice fish on this actual lure, as it happens. We'll get it down there. Because we're in pretty deep water, so I want the extra weight as well, so I can get down to the bottom quickly. Oh, that's a fish. <laughs> what have we got? It was keen, whatever it was, to get that in its gob, because there's plenty there for you. Water's just starting to get a bit shallower, which is where I would expect to get a hit from. Let's get this up and have a look. 
Well, I think this is a nice codlin. Oh, isn't it? Oh, yes. He's a beauty. Codlin of the day so far, I think, that one. This size of the belly on him. Hey, we could persevere with this lure, I think. If it's attracting the big lads like that. Let's get this out. There you go. Look at him, he's got a little bit of something about him, hasn't he? Whoop! He released himself. Well, he certainly liked me cocktail, so maybe we should do that again, eh? Two, two parts bloodworm, two parts signature squid. That's the recipe. <laughs> You don't have to listen to us, you know, you can turn the sound down, actually. Oh, I'm in. Oh, this feels canny. Mind, I say that about every single fish I catch, don't I? <laughs> Got a good noddy head. Oh, hello. Hello. This might be the one. Let's get it up and have a look at it anyway, eh? Oh, this feels all right. Took a canny bit of line on that run there, didn't it? Let's get it up. It's giving us a bit of a sore arm. I'm in 21 metres of water. I just came over the edge of a, a bit of a drop off there. There you go. <laughs> Look at that. Get in. Oh, oh, oh you fatty. Hey, let's have a look and see where you're hooked. Dare I put my fingers in your mouth? Yep, yeah, I might as well. Look at that! That's a beaut, isn't it? It's a couple of nice cod I've had in the last uh, week. I had a nice one out at Hawksley. Ooh, look at that thing. <laughs> Get in, what an absolute beauty that is. Do you know what? I'm going to chuck him straight back. See you later, pal. Oh, and he's away, not messing around, is he? Right. We'll be doing that again, then. Oh, I'm in again. <laughs> Another half-decent fish by the feels of it. Not quite as big as the monster we had before, but uh, I think it's another reasonable codlin. Yep. Oh, I'm so glad we came out here. So we're picking up a few uh, better fish now, aren't we? There you go. He's another beaut, isn't he? Let's get that out. See you, pal. Oh. Might as well top up my juice while we're here. Oh, I'm in. Oh gosh, this is having a go as well, isn't it? Let's get this up, see what we've got. been such a busy day. I've had so many fish. Quite a few nice ones now as well though at the end of the session here. We're starting to pull in a few more sizeable codlin. Let's have a look. Get you out mate. We'll get that lure back down there. Whoop. There you go. See you pal. It's not quite as big as the other two that lad but uh Still chunky. Oh, what's this? <laughs> it's having a go, whatever it is. Let's get it up and have a look. It's easier to catch fish when your hook is out of the lure. I've spent the most part of this drift with the uh, hook buried inside of the body of the lure after I missed a take. Here we go. It's another nice one. There you go. Let's uh, get him unhooked and we'll get him away. Where 
Where is it? There it is. There he is. See you, pal. Oh, I'm in. Goodness me, I was untangling my line there from the end of my rod. <laughs> Get in. There are so many fish around today, man. It's been a really productive bit of ground, this, hasn't it? As is always the case, you normally find the best bit at the end of the day. There we go. I think switching to the bigger lure has helped as well, mind. There you are. Got some interesting markings on him, that lad. Little sort of camouflage patch on his nose there right we'll get you back mate see ya well the weather's turning a little bit bad so i'm going to guess this will be the last drift i'm just going to give the lens a quick wipe get the water off it there we go and uh, we'll get you back over there and we'll enjoy this drift because i think we'll probably be heading in after this so the wind's coming straight into the lens and the rain's coming with the wind, so I'll do my best. I wondered what was going on there. <laughs> I thought something really weird was happening. <laughs> Let's get this up. Go. Gosh, he's been in the wars, that lad, hasn't he? He's had a lucky escape from something. Looks like he's had a seal bite. It's uh, not fresh, though, so he's doing all right. He's getting better, so I'm not, we'll just put him straight back in. See all those marks on him? See you, buddy. Oh, I'm in. Oh, get in. <laughs> Oh, this is all right, isn't it? Let's get this up and have a look. <laughs> wow. I think this might be the fish of the day. Let's hope we get it up to the top to show you. I'm going to keep the pressure on it. God, it's giving us a sore arm. Gosh. Let's get it up there. Eh? Hope the GoPro battery doesn't run out. <laughs> Righty. Goodness me. I think it's going to be a big cod, you know. Let's get it up. Oh, my arm's killing. <laughs> the end of a long day as well. Come on, pal. Let's be having you. What are you? Oh, it's foul hooked. It's still a decent size, but it's foul hooked. <laughs> So look, it's not a bad sized fish, but it's actually foul hooked, so it's gonna feel 10 times bigger than it was because it can actually point in the right direction. You can't turn its head around when you're reeling in, you know. There you go, so he's all right, so there you go. False alarm, wasn't movie dick. Right, that's it, we're heading in. Hey, we had a cracking day, haven't we? We must have had, what, 40, 50 coddling out? And I'm not exaggerating. Uh, obviously, they're not all going to be in this video because that would be far too long. Uh, we had some really nice ones out towards the end there, didn't we? Uh, I'm really pleased about that. Uh, listen, do me a favour, would you? And subscribe to the channel. I know I ask it every single week, but it does make a big difference to that old pesky YouTube algorithm, you know. How many different and new people YouTube chooses to show your videos, that sort of thing. Another thing that really helps is a thumbs up, so please do that. And if you want to ask us a question, just say hello, maybe suggest a venue. Do that in the comments section down below, because I always reply. And don't forget, you've still got your 10% off at Galaxy Kayaks UK. That's OTD10 at the checkout for 10% off absolutely everything. I'll catch you next time.